right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three Matthew Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 162 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Dufresne. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Bergliotta. Dan Mergliata, your referee. Ready? Ready? Go, All right, so here we go with round one. And on one side, clearly the more well-rounded fighter. Yet when we sat down with him on Thursday, first words out of his mouth, he ain't going to submit me. I'm going to try to take him down. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and you laugh just like that because you know how much of a joke this is. You want to avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has the rock. I know he has a big ego, but it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. Just out of range with that strike. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves to go finish his fight. Big body kick lands. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Punch over the top. Ooh, head kick lands. It's hurt. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Oh! Strike hands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Now goes in and secures the takedown. 
Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Head kick attempt. It's blocked. Oh, that was a scare DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Well, How about on. those five minutes? Oh, 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 oh. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, nice. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with this beautiful leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. So how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. He closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Just out of range with that left hook. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Big ball for Punch Land. Now he gets back to range. And he's looking for that left hand just missed. The right hook to the body. Oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful takedown. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Right hand on point. Oh, flush knees to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Throws the right hand there. Miss with that jab attempt there. That one snuck in. Nice strike. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. 
both combatants stood toe to toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Straight punch landed with so much power. Oh, collar tie. Looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh no! Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, tags it with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. What a punch. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his punch on him. Oh, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? Oh, he got him real good, too. Straight right is there. Final 10 seconds of the fight. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest for 928. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon!